Hello everybody, Multiman37, back here with part 2 of the review for the DX Kaminami Henge Terai Deno from Juden Sentai Kyoryuger. Where we left off, we were about to combine Kyoryujin with Terai Deno. So, without further ado, let's get down to business. So, as you can see, um, you know, we have them here. So, let's start with... Kyoryujin, in order to prep Kyoryujin, you take off the helmet, you go over to the back and remove the tail, and knock the sword out of his hand. Actually, I'll uh, leave that out for the moment being, uh, I'll put that in back later. Um, open the section, or fold out that section, and then stick the helmet in, close it back up. That's all we need to do to prep Cure Eugen. I'm gonna give him his sword back. So, he, he's ready. He's pretty much ready. Now, Terra Ideno, and you also gotta look at how sleek this is compared to Cure Eugen. This is a bulky, they, have, they are the same height. This one's a lot more bulkier, as you could tell earlier. <laughs> So this, we're actually going to switch it back as Gordon, with one minor difference being the head comes off, although that needs to be shrunken back in. Alright, make sure this is all closed up, wings out, take it out, stick it back here, fold that back, fold it in. Close up these little wing sections. And then flip the little claws out. And he is ready. Now, before we put him on Kyoryujin, what we're going to do is go around to the back. And you'll notice there are there is a peg and a hole right here corresponds to the pagan hole right there and we will snap this on very easy and this will basically create a bracing because this thing is going to weigh down Kyoryujin a lot go around to the back and snap it where the tail would go in those four segments this should be out of the way as I'm rotating this Okay, whatever. There we go. Around it goes. And then... Yeah, we... <laughs> pretty big. Alright, let me jump back here. Way back there. Alright, now for the helmet, you take Dergordon's head, stick it on top, open the mouth, and to cue the music, basically you hold down the button on the back of Teraideno. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's always hard to get that in one shot. And with the combination of Japanese and Samba style music out of the way, we now have Raiden Kyoryujin, which is pretty darn massive. And yes, in the show, he this does enable him to fly, although how that is physically possible, I'm not sure. This thing is massive. I mean, it does flap its wings, but, oi. Now, the articulation in the, um, 
and the uh, right arm here is a little bit restricted. And as you can see, I do have the Juden Ken equipped because this is the weapon that he would use. Now, if I tried to lift up, there are only two. Uh, now, the arms are restricted to only go that far forward and that far back. The right arm is very much restricted because of Gabutira's head. Gabutira's head will uh, bump into the port, to one of the arm ports for the Judenryu, so it is constantly stuck like that. Um, you cannot, it doesn't matter if you fold down the frills, it will still be stuck because it's not the frills blocking it, it's the whole head section right here that's basically blocking its movement and it's kind of a little disappointing. Now, the reason this got broken and I had to use electrical tape to fix the joints mostly is because I normally was holding it like this with the backpack kind of just sticking down and it is a hard thing to get in there. Now, if you don't want to risk breaking your things, I would recommend that you, um, let me go around to the back here, uh, it is massive, let me, uh, I'm over it, I would recommend that you separate the leg section first, attach it, and that way it won't have as much mass, like, the less mass it has, the less chance it'll have to break, and then put everything back together when you're done. You don't have to take out the arms. These are pretty hollow. The arm sections are really hollow, so you don't need to worry about them. The legs are what really have more of the mass than the arms. But if it does help, you can detach all uh, all three sections and just have the core unit attach that and reattach the wings and uh, attach the tail so that it has stability right there. It also helps to have the white piece that it is around uh, this thing's waist. Now, this did not come with Teraidenno. In fact, it came with another Judenryu. Uh, it actually came with two Judenryus that I will be showing off in the future. Now, as a quick comparison, here we have a more sleeker looking fella. We have the Dino Charge Megazord Terra Formation. It's a lot better to say than Tristego Terra Formation, that's for sure. Now, again, this is a lot more sleeker, and it is a lot more easier to carry around. Like, kids can actually hold this up and pretend it's fine. It's it's not that heavy. It is a little back heavy. That's why it has the little stability thing. And because the tail is so small, it can't fit the helmet, so you have to have the tail split up. Actually, I like that because it makes it look even. Uh, that one is fine, but this one's okay. But I don't like how the helmet just kind of sits there in the back, though. But, eh, whatever. So, yeah, these two do have their ups and downs. This one's a little bit more stylish, but bulky. This one is, uh, compact, but, uh, but, uh, easy to carry around. Very light. And again, one thing that I hate about this Megazord is the thing here where um, the handle, I wish this was made out of ABS because you can see it's already starting to bend the more he holds it. And I always display him holding it. Because this one, I can actually display it holding the sword very properly, actually. Like this, the ABS handle here is not like bending. It'll, it'll sometimes get out of the hand, but it's not going to bend in the hand. So, whoa, don't bump into your daddy. All right. Now, that is pretty much it. Now, I did post an update on my Facebook. I'm gonna give you a quick update here. I did post something on my Facebook, in case you don't read my Facebook, link in the description. I decided that I will not be doing my toy hauls anymore. Rather, whenever something new shows up, I'll just review it off the bat when I have time. The reason for that is, is because it's, what, uh, my normal rule is that I have up, if I get up to three items, then I'll showcase it in toy hauls. 
But with that said, I may not get things and it'll keep piling up. Not to mention, I constantly forget what's on my list. So I feel it better that I just um, go ahead and just review it off the bat like I usually would. Um, so I won't be doing toy hauls anymore. I tried it out for like five toy hauls. You can still watch them if you want. I tried it out for five, but uh, honestly, it wasn't getting me any headwig. It was just kind of delaying uh, the inevitable. Because all it did was kind of build up for lost time. <clears throat> it was a disaster. So I'm not going to uh, do my toy hauls anymore. So uh, with that being said, my next review will actually be the Shift Formula set that I've been holding off on. Well, that's going to be for Friday. Tuesday, I actually got the Forza Driver. So I'll be reviewing that for Throwback Thursday. Um... I don't know if I said Tuesday or not. But, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Take care.